Knowing the symptoms and correctly measuring blood pressure to diagnose hypertension is essential for physicians and health workers. High blood pressure often has no obvious symptoms. Because of this, patients with high blood pressure may be at risk of more serious heart disease without even knowing it. Patients suspected of high blood pressure who have headache, nausea, confusion, changes in their vision, or nosebleeds may be suffering from malignant hypertension, which is a serious problem and requires referral to specialist care. Physicians and health workers should have been previously trained to measure blood pressure and equipment must be well maintained. If using an automatic pressure measuring device, it should be validated and the appropriate cuff size to fit the patient's arm must be used. Whether measuring blood pressure in the clinic or a person's home, make sure that the setting is relaxed and quiet and the patient is sitting comfortably with their arm outstretched and supported. Before starting measurement, palpate the radial or brachial pulse. If the patient's pulse is irregular, automated devices may not measure pressure accurately. Measure blood pressure in both arms. If there's a difference of more than 20 millimeters of mercury, the pressure should be re-measured. If the difference remains after a second reading, perform subsequent measurements using the arm which gave the higher reading. If the blood pressure reading is 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury or higher, take a second reading during the consultation. If the second measurement is substantially different from the first one, take a third measurement. Use the lower of the last two measurements as the clinic blood pressure reading. If clinic blood pressure is above 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury, offer blood pressure monitoring to confirm the diagnosis of hypertension either by ambulatory monitoring, where pressure is measured twice every hour throughout a normal day, or by home BP monitoring, where pressure is measured every morning and evening over several days. If severe hypertension is detected, the physician should consider starting the patient on antihypertension drug treatment immediately, without waiting for results of ambulatory or home BP monitoring. In some situations, a patient should be referred immediately to specialist care. For example, if their blood pressure is above 180 over 110 millimeters of mercury, they have accelerated hypertension and must be referred. They may also have swelling of the optic nerve disc at the back of the eye, which is known as papilledema, and or bleeding at the back of the eye, known as retinal hemorrhage. The patient may also have suspected phyochromocytoma, which is a tumour of the adrenal glands, as well as labile or postural hypotension, where blood pressure lowers excessively when standing. They may also be experiencing headaches, palpitations, pallor and excessive sweating, known as diaphoresis. If no hypertension is detected, the health worker should offer to measure the patient's blood pressure every five years, or more frequently if their clinic blood pressure was close to 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury.